Omics Logic, Genomic Data Analysis. This online program will focus on analysis and interpretation of genomic data and is built for students, biologists, and clinicians that want to gain theoretical and practical knowledge in this field. We will cover the basics of DNA code, variation, and genotype-phenotype relationships and use the hands-on sessions to review several examples and analyze genomics datasets. Our team of expert bioinformaticians, geneticists, and biomedical informaticians will help you gain practical experience and identify a project you can plan, prepare, and execute on your own. We will start by sharing with you some of the resources that we prepared to help make this learning experience meaningful for beginners and experts alike. Then we will start from the basics of DNA. How is this data generated and what information does it actually contain? We will rely on our cutting edge T-BioInfo platform that can help streamline your analysis and analyze large data sets quickly. As we dive deeper into the analysis techniques, we will explore the types of data that you can use to analyze DNA variation and understand the single nucleotide and multinucleotide variants that emerge when the next generation sequencing data is aligned against a reference genome. In particular, we will focus on SNPs, indels, and other types of genomic variation, typically leading to a change in phenotype. When we process the data, a major challenge in genomic data analysis arises. There are just too many variants to consider. That's why we will explore the role of filtering, coverage, distribution of variants, and help identify only the significant variants that we should consider in our downstream analysis. Once we have a reasonable number of variants to consider, we will talk about how to perform annotation, how to interpret these annotated variants in this genomic data. We will use lots of reference databases and statistical associations that can help explain how the variants lead to variation we can observe externally. For example, ones that cause disease, help in disease progression, or cause genetic variation. We will also explore how machine learning can help analyze these large and complex data sets once we structure the data. We will talk about several methods that are commonly used and explore the utility of these methods in classification for mutational profiling, signature construction, and biomarkers. In these sessions, we will cover the most common types of methods like clustering, regression, classification, and discriminant analysis. Finally, we will work together with you to explore several examples in cancer, drug resistance, and genome-wide association studies to develop a sense of a bioinformatics project, how to plan, prepare, and execute the analysis from beginning to end. In cancer, we will talk about somatic mutations and association with cancer subtypes. Using geographical distribution of tuberculosis samples, we will explore the way multi-drug resistance emerges and can be identified and even predicted. Other projects will be included, and we will help you work independently or in teams to find, analyze, and visualize data from the public domain. This program will not be limited to the sessions online only. We will record each session and provide access to our top quality materials that you can learn from online on your own time. These are found on the edu.t-bioinfo platform. Finally, we will provide facilitating infrastructure so that you can perform your analysis quickly and get the results you need. As a result of completing these courses, you will be able to showcase your expertise with a certificate offered jointly with the Tauber Bioinformatics Research Center and the BioClues organization. We are excited about this program and hope that you can join us.